Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Oral Blackstock of Hartford. A wonderful day to you and yours. Oral Blackstock of First Church of God Hartford here with you. Have you ever packed the right thing but in the wrong place? As a member of our church family would say jokingly, excuse you? Yes, it happened to me. I did a last minute packing, rushed to the airport, checked my bag in and headed to the TSA, the Transportation Security Administration's checkpoint. Not expecting any glitches, I placed my backpack on the belt, got an all clear screening and awaited the backpack on the other side. An agent approached me with my backpack and asked permission to open it. He carefully rambled through. Then he saw what he was looking for, an oversized bottle of mouthwash. I'm sorry, he said, but this is beyond the size allowed. You can go back to the counter to have it checked or I can take it for you. I did exactly what any one of you listening would do. i let you guess that. We have been discussing Hebrews 12, verse 1, where Paul encourages us to lay aside every weight and the sins which so easily beset us and run with patience the race that is set before us. We have taken the verse one step deeper and have been identifying some of the specific weights and sins. Joshua challenged and encouraged the Israelites to put away the strange gods that are among you and incline your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. Joshua 24 verse 23. Coming from Egypt, where they were exposed to the worship of many gods, Joshua reminded them that there is only one God, the living God, the God of Abraham and Isaac, who should be worshipped. Joshua warned them against idolatry and encourage them to be faithful to Jehovah, the true and living God. As we look into our knapsacks today, the weight of sin that we are looking for is idolatry, the worshiping of strange gods, the extreme devotion to or reverence for a person or thing, according to Webster. When Joshua's predecessor Moses came down from Mount Sinai, he found God's people giving extreme devotion to an idol. They were engaged in worship to an object they themselves made with their hands. They decided what it should look like. They decided where it should be placed. They moved it around and they paid homage or reverence to it. The first of the Ten Commandments that God gave to Moses addresses the worship of strange gods. And God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage, thou shalt have no other God before me. God was and is clear about his identity. He is, he delivers, and commands on rival devotion. Exodus 20. What weight needs to be removed from your backpack today? In fact, let me be specific. Is the worship of other gods in your carry-on? Are there idols in your carry-on? Under the watchful eyes of the Holy Spirit, they will be identified. Laying aside every weight includes idol worshiping. As Joshua said to the Israelites in Joshua 24, 15, But if it doesn't please you to worship Yahweh, choose for yourselves today the one you will worship. The gods of your father, the gods your father worshiped before the Euphrates River or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. As for me and my family, we will worship Yahweh. As followers of Christ, we are required to direct our prayers, all worship, all devotion to the one true and living God. The worship of anything or anyone else would lead us away from truth, nullify our relationship with Jesus Christ and his promise of eternal life. In the words of Paul in his letter to the Hebrews, lay aside every weight and the sins which so easily beset us and run with patience the race which is set before us. The time is now. Until tomorrow at the same time, Oral Blackstock, God's willing, Oral Blackstock saying, lighten your knapsack by unpacking the worship of strange gods. 
You've been listening to Pastor Oral Blackstock of Hartford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word. Thank you.